Good evening and thanks for joining me. So I was going through today's uh, St. Paul Pioneer Press and in, in, in the, uh, the headline here reads on the table a uh, dire uh, forecast of uh, the upcoming uh, budget for the city of St. Paul. Uh, apparently there is a forty-four million dollar shortfall in the uh, in the budget for the city and um, some of the things that are on the table as far as uh, cuts would be um, 67 uh, police officers would be laid off 59 firefighters would be laid off um, in all 400 full-time jobs in the city of St. Paul would be cut eight recreation centers would be closed or vacated one library would close and this one gets me half of the the street lights in the city of St. Paul would be turned off now excuse me I sat down and figured this this 44 million dollar shortfall in, in the city's budget you know that sounds like a lot of money you know especially uh, with a city the size of St. Paul about 250,000 people I got thinking about it a little bit now I'm a uh, a man of modest means um, I uh, make about 22 23 thousand a year uh, made more driving cab in St. Paul back uh, before they you know tripled the number of cabs that are on the street but that's a different story for another time but the fact is that that 44 million dollars works out to roughly hundred and seventy six dollars for every man woman and child in the uh, in the city of St. Paul and I got to thinking about that hundred and seventy six dollars now I myself with my meager income would be willing to write the check tomorrow if it meant that we would not be losing the uh, the services that are, are, are quite frankly quite necessary uh, in a city the size of St. Paul um, we sure as hell can't afford to lose 60 some police officers I don't think we we're in any position to be losing uh, 50 some firefighters and let me tell you something one of the things that makes St. Paul as safe as a city as it is is because you have street lights now they're talking about cutting half of the street lights in the city do you know how much more I mean, the, the, the three things are just begging for the for you're just begging for problems here by doing that and I, I think it goes to a to a bigger picture here um, the uh, the the hundred and seventy six dollars uh, and per person averages out to roughly three hundred or three dollars and sixty six cents a week now I know that we have become it we have gotten to a climate where cutting taxes you know is the is the new buzzword you know and even the even the middle class who uh, you know things are rough on the middle class especially with all the jobs loss and whatnot but people have to understand that in a society where you have services like the police fire park and wrecks decent schools there you're gonna have to pay for them and I I think that we have really as Americans have got in, in into this into this uh, uh, 
um, mentality that it, it's something that we feel that you know we shouldn't have to pay. We we shouldn't have to pay taxes. Now, taxes are a pain in the ass, especially for somebody uh, in my line of work where I'm not. You know, I don't have taxes automatically deducted out of a paycheck. I have to, um, you know, I have to figure out my own taxes and do my own withholding, which, you know, is tough to do. But I'm telling you that just just with, with the city of St. Paul, you know, I would be, to tell you the truth, if before you make any of these cuts, I myself would have no problem with pitching in, you know, three dollars and sixty-six cents a week for the next year to make up for this this shortfall, and I think anybody that is a good citizen of a community shouldn't have that kind of problem. Now, granted, maybe we look at the way in in the future we look at how some of the, the money is spent maybe there are some are, are some programs or some things that are being done out there that that quite frankly we don't need to be spending that the kind of money on but um, you know also uh, the other thing up here in, in this area you know they're talking about now having waiting until there's four inches of snow on the ground before they do any plowing um, the the whole idea these cuts in services um, are it, it's it's too much and I just don't believe that the shortfall the budget shortfall I I just don't believe that it that it would be too much to ask for the citizens of the city of St Paul to open up their wallets and say let's get this taken care of you know hundred and seventy six dollars per man woman and child I know that if I'm able to do it there are a lot of people that make two three four times as much money as I do that shouldn't have that kind of problem doing so and maybe the people God maybe the people that are making you know seventy eighty ninety thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars a year maybe they pitch in a little bit more so maybe the people who are on the lower end of this of the scale wouldn't have to pitch in quite so much you know I, I understand you know we pick out you know the people that are of progressive mindset it feels like we're picking on the wealthy you know unfortunately it's the way it's the way of the world you know you're making that kind of money you're enjoying the services you know you're you, you're enjoying good parks you're you're enjoying good schools you're enjoying um, a a well-kept city you know you enjoy the fact that that your uh, that your uh, your city streets aren't rutted with snow you know it isn't quite so bad until it freezes and thaws and refreezes and you're you're driving over uh, you know roads that are you know rutted and 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 the like I just don't think it's too much to ask and if I'm willing to pitch in damn it I, I think that that uh, everybody else in the city should be willing to do the same uh, that's all I have for now uh, thanks for watching We'll talk again soon. This is John Shannon, the Redneck Cabbie. Adios.